Welcome to Pippa Passes. Deep within the wooded mountains of Kentucky, along the banks of Caney Creek, is a college holding fast to its tradition of values and its legacy of standards. Alice Lloyd College is a special place with a special purpose for special people. A light unto the mountains, ALC is an educational community of fun and fellowship dedicated to the dignity of work, service to others, and quality higher education. Beginning our journey along the Purpose Road, you will see the men's dormitories. Burger Owen Hall is the newest residence hall on the ALC campus. It is located adjacent to Howard Memorial Hall at the entrance of campus. It houses 128 men. Howard Memorial Hall is located adjacent to the tennis courts and houses 130 men. Both men's residence halls include study rooms, lounges, and laundry facilities on each floor. Across from the men's dormitories is Carrick Hall. Carrick is a three-story stone building providing housing for 50 female students. The Pippa Passes Police Department is located next to Carrick Hall in a former faculty housing building. Alice Lloyd College provides law enforcement personnel to protect the well-being and property of faculty, staff, and students. Officers are on duty 24 hours each day. Next on our trip is the Anderson Science Center. Renovated in 2003, this building provides classrooms and specialized laboratory areas. Moving right along the banks of Caney Creek, you will come to the Jim Buchanan Alumni Center. Named in honor of our co-founder, Dr. Jim Buchanan, this building houses administrative offices, classrooms, and the Teacher Education Professional Development Center. The former home of our co-founder, affectionately called Miss June's House, is located near the center of campus and is currently used as a guest facility for visitors. The brown and green building stands beside the Jim Buchanan Alumni Center and holds the Student Work Program Office, the Craft Shop, and the Christmas Pretties Project. Across the road from the brown and green are several historic campus buildings. First is the Eagle's Nest. Once serving as the office of Mrs. Alice Lloyd, this building now houses the WWJD-FM radio station. Next to the Eagle's Nest stands the IF building. Named after Rudyard Kipling's inspiring poem IF and renovated in 1984, this building now houses two guest rooms. Right beside of IF is Cushing Hall. This building was renovated in 2006 and serves as a cultural and spiritual center for students. It houses Miss Irma's Cafe, as well as the Office of Alumni Relations. Directly in front of the Office of Alumni Relations is one of the oldest buildings on campus, the Founders Shack. From this tiny building, Mrs. Alice Lloyd provided the first education in the Caney Creek area. Now surrounded by the college campus, the Founders Shack testifies to the more than 115 elementary and high schools that Mrs. Lloyd helped found in the Eastern Kentucky Mountains. The McGall Library and Learning Center rests on the other side of Caney Creek. This building houses the Barrett Library, the Ralph Edwards Auditorium, and the Computer Lab, as well as a new computer classroom. The Jerry C. Davis Student Center is located next to Cushing Hall and serves as a multi-purpose student center. It houses the cafeteria, six classrooms, a fitness center, racquetball courts, an infirmary, and staff and student activities offices. On the hill beside the Davis Student Center sits the Commodore Sloan Building. This building, which once served as both a science center and the home of the Jim Buchanan School, is currently being renovated. Beginning in the fall of 2009, it will serve as the home of the Business Administration Program. The Estelle Campbell Center for the Arts is located near the end of campus, across the road from Lily Hall. This building houses the Jim Buchanan School, an auditorium, and supports facilities for the arts. Situated on a mountainside with a panoramic view of campus, Lily Hall serves as the main women's dormitory. It houses approximately 190 women. The Grady Nutt Athletic Center rests at the end of campus. It is a spacious two-story structure that houses a gymnasium, an indoor swimming pool, a daycare center, classrooms, offices, and an auxiliary gym. Thank you for joining us on this tour of the Alice Lloyd College campus, and remember, our doors are always open. 
If you would like to schedule a visit or have a question about anything you saw on the tour, please feel free to contact us at any of the following numbers. Bro.